Time for a top up. What's inside the new with Geek Fuel subscription box? Consider yourself to be a geek? No, 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 don't be shy about it. Nowadays, geek is cool, and every one of us have a little bit of geek fandom that we love to embrace. Geek Fuel also embraces geekdom by delivering to your doorstep a selection of geek-tastic items inside this rather schnazzy-looking box, might I also just say. If you are a geek and like to get geek stuff delivered to your door, you can click the link down below in the video description, but if you're on the fence, not about you being a geek, but about what is inside the Geek Fuel, and if this is the box that's made for you, sit on belt, sit down for a spell, let me open up the box and we can have a little bit of fun. Opening up the newest box of Geek Fuel, one thing that will be something I have to mention is that there is no tape on the box anywhere, none whatsoever. Now, before you cry foul and think that pirates or crows have gotten inside this box, don't worry. It came inside a much larger box. I guess they do that so that they keep the pristine alive for the look of this box. This is definitely one of my favorite looking subscription boxes all around. Unless, so we're going to go ahead and get the box opened up sans le tape because no tape was required here. And we're just going to open the flap just like so. And we've got ourselves an insert card telling us probably going to be the contents inside. I don't want to look at that. I'm going to put that to the side. But if anything be the indicator, you can see that the image on the front sort of bears a resemblance to the house from Beetlejuice. And also the fact that the font on the top just happens to be Beetlejuice-esque. I'm going to put that to the side because I don't want to be spoiled. I'd like to go into my presence not knowing what I'm going to get. I did that once. And boy, was that ever a big mistake on my part. Never really want to peek in your gifts. If you find out where mom, dad, or even Santa Claus is stashing your presents, don't get that urge to check things out. What you'll do is you'll find out what you're going to be getting this, this I was going to say Halloween, this Christmas time, and then the, the, the element of the surprise is gone. Oh, oh, look at this. Now, see, if I had peeked earlier, I could have easily just opened up this box, looked at the contents, giggled in the background, and then hit record, and you guys would be none the wiser. But again, like Christmas, I like to keep the surprise element intact. And I had no idea I was going to be getting such a snazzy-looking t-shirt. I like the look of that. Of course, we've got the sandworm, but I don't know if you can see it or not, but inside the sandworm is the image of the house from Beetlejuice. Very clever, the way that they've done that. It kind of looks like it could glow in the dark. And one of the things, the calling cards, the things that I like the most about t-shirts, is when you get a gray t-shirt and you have a good pop of color on the front of it. Mwah! No seasoning required. That, di that dish is delicious as it is. Uh, let's see what else we have going on in here. Oh, we got these. Now, we did get these before as well. Fantastic Forgotten Fortunes of Rare Retro Relics, Trinkets, Treasures, and Trash. Try saying that twice. I bet you can't. Um, there's, of course, rattling inside, so I don't know really the contents. And again, like Christmas, the surprise is going to be right now. Let's dump out the contents, see what we've got going on here. Okay, I think that's it. First thing we got is a playing card, a trading card. It's Moonraker, director of Q Branch. It's very strange, just really random to be getting this specific card. On the back, there's Roger Moore drawing. You can collect all 99 cards of the Moonraker series. Anybody really collecting James Bond cards? Was that a thing? I mean, I say that, but I collected a lot of Topps cards. Like Batman and Batman Returns and all those movie cards. Ghostbusters 2 as well. So I guess I can't really necessarily fault anybody collecting, wanting to pick up the various James Bond series. It's not my thing myself, but I could definitely see, I guess, I have to be accepting of others that this may be somebody's cup of tea. You got Moonraker right there. Uh, we also have, oh, it's a ring. Let's open up the ring here. It is a skull ring. I don't know if you can see that or not. There it is right there. And it's very rubbery. I'm guessing it's probably glow in the dark. I'm going to wear it for the rest of this review. I guess I would put it on there. There, there we go. Look at that. Schnazzy. And we also got a couple of pins. I don't know why the camera's, there we go. It's Evil Lean, and this one is Creep Queen. I have to admit, I'm drawing a bit of a blank. I don't recall these particular pins. 
If anybody remembers Creep Queen, let me know. Um, but again, I don't recognize these particular characters. Eveline and Creep Queen. No idea. I'm just going to continue wearing my ring. Uh, we also got ourselves a pineapple. Ooh, ooh, pineapple. I'm not one for pineapple myself. I, for the longest time, unfortunately, was subjected to my parents always putting pineapple on pizzas when they ordered it. And they would always just say, well, take the pineapple off. No, 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 no. No, no. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. You can't take pineapple off a pizza and just consider the pizza perfectly fine. Pineapple has a way of destroying everything that's around it. It's like Sauron from Lord of the Rings. It literally will just envelop the land. It's the nothing from never-ending story. Yes, you can take the individual pieces of pineapple off. That's fine and good. That's what somebody who loves pineapple says to somebody who doesn't love pineapple. But you take that pineapple off, it's still going to destroy the land around it causing mass destruction where it goes. It even starts to degrade the cheese. You ever look at the cheese on a pizza after you've taken a piece of pineapple off? That cheese looks underneath it like it's been destroyed, like the pineapple has just destroyed it and left it for dead and gone on to the rest of the cheese terrain. As you can probably guess, I don't like I don't like pineapple on my pizza. But what I do like is the shining, time to shine socks. Uh, these are cruise socks, of course, with that rather familiar pattern of the carpeting. Of course, where Danny's riding around his tricycle, his, not tricycle, his big wheel. There it is, even actually on the back there. Sort of a big wheel style of vehicle. I had one of these, but mine was all plastic. Very cool. Probably could wear these technically at Christmas time, even though I don't really consider shiny. Even though it takes place in the snow, don't really consider it a Christmas movie. But I could definitely wear these socks at Christmas time. Why not? Why not? You can wear those socks all year round. Just make sure while you're wearing them all year round that you're actually taking the time and washing those because pineapple would be the least of your problems. The other problems would probably be that people would be starting rumors saying, hey, don't go near that guy's socks. They really smell. Lastly, we're going to be having a look at the reaction figures. This is the Meta, Meta Luna Mutant. Fully posable figure. I mean, somewhat fully posable. It literally only has five points of articulation. The head, shoulders, and legs. That's it. One good thing about this is it hasn't even been popped. This little popped top area there that you would hang in on a hook. It still has remained untouched. Look at that. I can keep that pristine and stored away my time capsule. On the back, we've got other characters, such as the mummy, the wolfman. Those would be cool. Creature of the Black Lagoon, the mole people, Phantom of the Opera. And, of course, the Metal Luna. This all comes to us from Super 7. And i got to admit, those are pretty cool looking, if you like those retro style of figures. That being said, let's go back to the insert card. Of course, remember, we looked at this at the beginning, and I told myself not to peek inside. I still have my ring finger on, by the way. My finger ring. Uh, on the back here, we've got classic horror collectibles, the classic horror collectibles, super seven reaction figures. Uh, we also got the it's showtime exclusive t-shirt geek fuel, geek fuel, geek fuel. I see what you did there. If you say it three times, this exclusive t-shirt will appear from the other side. Don't let your handbook for the recently deceased fall in the wrong hands. This exclusive t-shirt not only made my day, it made my millennium. There's also the time to shine socks. Let me ask you a question. They're on a roll today. What's your most overlooked fashion accessory? I also see what they did there. Socks, of course, our exclusive socks will help you keep your toes from freezing and make your ankles shine. Boy, they are on a, they are zinging this today. What else we have here? We have the mystery bags. Um, also, in addition to that, you can win two nights stay at the Stanley Hotel. All work and no play make Jack a dull boy in this month's f mystery bag. One unlucky winner will find Jack inside to win the stay at... Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Was there something else inside here? Maybe there, Is there a picture of Jack I'm supposed to be looking for? Let's have a look inside. Let's quickly, quickly peering inside. Maybe I overlooked something. Maybe I overlooked something. No, no, I didn't, didn't overlook anything. Uh, in the Stephen King's 1977 best-selling novel, The Shining, and was the actual filming location for the 1997 TV miniseries. How about that? 
Clearly, in this case, it looks like we got a lot of horror-themed trinkets inside this Geek Fuel box. I don't know if this is necessarily October. I would have to go and check my previous posting of this. And yes, I still have my skull ring right there on my finger. I'm going to wear this, I think, for the rest of the day. People are going to be looking at me strangely. And I'll just look over at them and just say, I'll whisper, I'm a pirate. I'll have to probably whisper it a little bit loudly, a little more loudly, because I'll be wearing a mask over top of my face. But I'll say, I'm a pirate. And they'll be like, gotcha. I'm a pirate too. And then we could be friends forever, just at a course of social distance. If you would like to subscribe to the Geek Fuel subscription box and get uh, this delivered to your house, oh, there is actually a pumpkin down below there. Probably even more the indicator that this is more of a Halloween themed box. You can click the link down below and you can subscribe to the Geek Fuel today. And actually, while you are subscribing, why not be in the generous festive spirit this year? And subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. There's lots of stuff always going on on this channel. Sure, yes, here we're wearing skull rings. But it doesn't just start and stop with skull rings. I'd like to think there's a lot more offerings thrown out there. I have lots of content you can be checking out on this channel on a regular basis. So if you are new to this channel and you do like all the content you're seeing and you have yet hit that subscribe button, do that right now. Don't be the pineapple that ruins the rest of the pizza. Join the mob. Be one of us. Be one of us, Billy. And you can be friends with us forever and ever and ever. And also keep your peepers peeled here to this channel, Monday to Friday, 12 p.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, as when new videos will be popping up on this channel. And every so often, we also do have ourselves premieres. And I'd like to brag just for a second that I have probably one of the best well-stocked snack tables around when it comes to premieres. We're talking brisk. We're talking wink, which is actually a soda. You'll have to look it up to believe me. And there's also Ritz crackers. And periodically, I do make pretty devilishly delicious deviled eggs. So lots more reason to come to this channel. Monday to Friday, 12 p.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Lots of stuff coming your way as well, guys. So as always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.